Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be decorating my newly thrifted dresser for you. I've already gathered all of the items that I think work well together, so I'll be doing a quick run through of each of them and how I style the overall image. These items aren't listed in any specific order, so just follow along and enjoy! The first item that I'll be using is this ribbed ceramic candle holder. So I chose this one because of the visual interest it offers by the ribbed texture and the glossy finish. I got this for $1 at the dollar store, which is extremely cheap and definitely unbeatable. The second item, and one of my favorite, is this faux monstera leaf that I got from Target for about $5, I think, at the time. Um, truly, I think any scene comes alive with a touch of greenery, and if you don't necessarily have a green, green thumb like I do, or don't, <laughs> you can opt for faux. Next up is this short candle pillar to finish off that look, and I got this from Ikea. Number four is a tall glass vase. So when I'm using multiple vertical elements, I try to choose varying heights instead of similar ones to add some visual interest and keep the eye moving around the scene. I also like to incorporate dishes to group items, so like items that are floating. Um, I, I like to group them together and create a focal point in that area. Fun fact, this dish is actually a butter dish that's been locked away in storage for some time. So yeah, you can definitely just find things and get creative. My absolutely favorite part is this. I love adding personality with coffee table books. So design, as some of you may know, is my passion and what better way to showcase that than using coffee table books um, this Santiago Calatrava book was published by Toshin and this will definitely occupy real estate on my dresser my next favorite book is A Frame for Life by Ilse Crawford these two books work perfectly together because of the muted color palette and the varying sizes so they're in a way stackable I also use these two books as horizontal elements to group together the items that are going to be creating the focal point on the dresser. Next up are accessories. So you can use whatever you have. I'm using my perfume because I like the gold accent and the delicate line work that's on the bottle, as well as my daily hoop earrings. I like to have these items at hand on a daily, so I just keep them right there. Number nine is wall art. To be honest, I am no longer a fan of word art but I just wanted to keep costs low and use what I already own. Um, I purchased these prints on Etsy a few years ago and I got them printed at my local staples. Last, a picture of Ryan and me. I like to personalize spaces with things of sentimental value and this is a perfect addition. Now let's design! So that's it for today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!